Yo, what's up, guys? Teacher Paul up here, and today we are reacting to a coffee request. Thank you so much for the support and for the request. This is from someone called Kari. Thank you so much, Kari, for requesting this video. And Kari says, here you get good tips for restaurants with traditional Norwegian food in Oslo, including Den Glad Gris, the happy pork, from which you have already seen a video. My last video was about that, so go check it out. I've checked and it appears to be authentic despite the computer voice. Okay, so we're gonna check out this video. Are you Don't forget us? wait. Sorry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check this video out. It's from this channel called Dis Distrita TV. Okay, let's go. Are you visiting Oslo? You yes, may be surprised how difficult it is to find restaurants that serve authentic Norwegian traditional food in Oslo. Is that true? It's difficult to find authentic Norwegian food? What do you guys have? Like fast food? Does, does Oslo have like the American um, style where you get a lot of different fast foods? Or what is, why, what's wrong? What's, what's happening? <laughs> It seems like Norwegians prefer to eat international food when they hang out. Really? The pizzerias are on almost every corner. Why? And the kebab places have almost taken over the entire city. But don't give up. It you guys really love kebabs, I guess. But why Why do you not like authentic Norwegian food? Like, is there nothing um, that stands out? Or what's it like? If you do some proper research, you may find the hidden gems of Oslo where you can eat Norwegian food at its very best. Tip number one, Rorbua is located in the most exclusive area of Oslo, next to the beautiful harbour area of Akabriga. Nice. This okay. is not only a cozy restaurant, but also a relaxing bar. Rorbua. They are serving Norwegian dishes with a focus on the specialties from the north. Nice, okay. Here you can try smoked whale, fried what? filet of cod, creamy fish soup, Long fried reindeer shank. What? Wait. You guys eat whale and reindeer? Bro, I need to try that out. You know what's interesting is that I went to Germany um, and in Berlin, we tried rabbit, which is kind of like a common gamey meat, right? But my wife had, had never eaten rabbit before and it was the first time that we had it there. Now, you're talking about whale and reindeer? No way. What does it taste like? Is it more gamey? I mean, I've eaten shark meat. That is very good, very um, meaty type of fish. But whale? And aren't they extinct? Or what about reindeers? What does Santa have to say about this? <laughs> Long fried reindeer shank, shellfish platters, king crab, mussels, crab and crab claws, crayfish and much more. Which Tip one is the, your two. favorite? Let me know in the comments your favorite because I, 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 I like seafood. So uh, I think I'm going to try uh, man whale. That's interesting. Dovrehallen is one of the very few remaining brown bars in also that have kept the old Norwegian brown food bars. culture seriously. Mostly seating areas that create an intimate atmosphere. Nice service. Obvious that there are many regular customers here. We recommend to try the meatballs with stewed cabbage. Meatballs it with is delicious. stewed cabbage. Beer and food come quickly to the table. I thought meatballs was a Swedish thing. Is it Norwegian as well? Ask for today's dinner option, and you will get the most affordable food in the city. Tip number three, at Kafestova, whole Norwegian foods are grown. Nice, okay. Here you can try eating greater balls, bonefish, and sour cream porridge, truly authentic Norwegian food. This cafeteria is a very popular choice for lunch and early dinner, located close to the Royal Palace, and not far from the Parade Street Carl Johans Gate. That looks very Note good. That they may close as early as 7pm to 9pm, so it's better to check out their opening hours in advance. Why would you close for dinner? Wait, what time do you guys have dinner in, in Norway? I, I normally have dinner at 7, 8, maybe sometimes 9, sometimes 10pm. Yeah, I... Uh, I I, I eat late sometimes. It depends on work. Like right now, it's 8 p.m. I'm supposed to have finished my videos, but I'm still here. 
because I need to do some research about, you know, my trip to Oslo. If you don't know, I'm going to Oslo and, you know, this is my research. <laughs> Tip number four, Restaurant Schroeder, another charming brown bar, is located in Valdemar Thrainsgate 8 in the suburb St. Hanshorgen in Oslo. If you have read the Harry Hole Crime Romans by Joe Nesper, you may have noticed that Harry loves this restaurant and visits it frequently. The restaurant is also one of the locations for the movie Snowman from 2016. Okay. Tip number five This restaurant specializes in pork based dishes, and the house specialty is slow grilled pork knuckle. The dishes are prepared using the oh, slow this is cooking the one method. I saw, right? The chef spends several days marinating and slow cooking the food, which in turn means more taste wow. and incredibly tender meat. Every day, the chief makes two different soups for lunch, based on leftover ingredients from the day before. Den Glade Gris, which that's very interesting. The the idea of having leftover food like and and telling everybody hey this is leftover food and we're making soup and and selling it to you <laughs> i don't think that would fly anywhere else i, I don't know I, i'm not saying the food is um you know dirty or anything but when you say leftover it, it feels a little bit sketchy anyways which can be translated pork. the happy pork offers great norwegian food presented in an honest and rustic way Nice. They are cooperating with several breweries across the country, so the selection of beer is quite large. Tip number six, Siva Kiosken. This little kiosk is giving a picture of traditional Norwegian food culture. Siva Kiosken has served wiener sausages and mustard with their own personal recipe since 1952. That's cool. The hot dog kiosks are a seldom view in Oslo today, but in Siva Kiosken you will get an authentic feeling of how the era was when the hot dog kiosks were the natural gathering point for the locals, and there Isn't this the one I saw with the hidden gem video? ...were more than 40 hot dog kiosks just in Oslo. Tip number seven, Larsen Restaurant. Classic, wooden interior design makes the perfect surroundings for having a traditional Norwegian dinner. Located in Majestuen, close to Vigeland Sculpture Park, These are so the restaurant opened in 1951 other. and they have kept the old furniture and style. If you order today's special, you get an affordable dinner based on classic Norwegian cooking. Nice. For more travel inspiration of where to go... Wait, is this in Norway? No, this is London. This is, uh, I was going to say, this looks so much like um, Trafalgar Square. But obviously this is Trafalgar Square, right? Check out distrita.com. I can see the, the bus on the side. Okay, distrita.com. You know, thank you so much for sharing this video. So, yeah, uh, what interested me was the pork, the whale, the reindeer. I don't know, if I kind of feel bad eating whale. I don't know if it's extinct or if you guys have an abundance of, um, you know, of food, of whale meat, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know, guys. Is there any debates about that or something? Hey, I eat whatever you, you tell me, like, this is good. I try it. I have no issues trying new things. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for the request. Thank you for the support. And, you know, if you want to request a video, here is the link. And before we go, here is a message from our sponsor. <laughs> we don't have a sponsor. That's the, uh, the only thing we have is the wish list. So here on the wish list, we have a few items that I have added. Here is um, a visit to the Norway's fjords, Bergen, Flam Railway, etc. So what happened was at first, this was supposed to help me on my Oslo trip, but I, I realized that I can save money on my trip to Oslo um, if I do all of the tips that you guys have been giving me, you know, the supermarket, the 7-Eleven, you know, these type of hidden gems for more authentic food. So I'm not worried about my Oslo trip. I've paid that, um, the hotel and the, the, um, the flights. So that is already covered. Um, however, some of you have been asking me to go back. I haven't been to Oslo yet, but you're already telling me to go to Bergen and other parts. So for that, I'm going to have to plan. I don't know how much it will be, but you guys can support and sponsor that video. Remember, 
I, I want to do more projects. So that's why we have the wish list. So you guys can help and sponsor the channel. Um, if you are a travel company and you want to sponsor, then yeah, just send me a message as well. That's it for today. It, it's funny giving a, a sponsored message when it's only <laughs> my own. <laughs> you guys are the sponsors of the channel. But anyways, um, I'm going to really, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy Oslo, but um, I also already want to go back to Bergen and the other parts because I, I noticed that I, well, I won't be able to do that. So um, I'm going to have to do a separate trip because I underestimated the distance between um, one place to the other and the cost also. But I'll plan better for the second trip, but I'm excited for this first trip to Oslo. And thank you so much, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what else I should know. I've covered traveling, covered a little bit of the food, um, covered the tourist attractions. What else do I need? Clothing. I, I need to think of what type of clothing I would wear. But I, I feel a little bit more confident after having some, um, you know, insightful tips and insightful videos. And also, I think the next thing is I might need to learn a little bit of um, Norwegian. I know that all of you guys speak perfect English, but I, I still I, I want to learn a few greetings. So maybe that could be my next video. I don't know. Um, but let me know in the comments what else I need to know. And I'm going to read all of your comments as soon as, you know, um, I, I can sit down and take notes because I, I, I want to share my itinerary with you guys. Obviously, I want to make the videos and, and post it um, for you guys as well. And this will be my first vlog in a long time. If you look at my channel, I haven't vlogged in a very long time. So, Norway, you've been selected. <laughs> Bro, it's been so many years that I haven't been to another country except my own country when I go to visit my family. But for um, tourism, Oslo, Norway, you're, you've been selected after so many years. I used to travel a lot before, but things changed and... And now I, I feel like I, if you guys, you know, continue watching and supporting the channel, liking the videos, commenting, I feel like I can explore a little bit more and travel a little, a little bit more. And that's going to be super fun. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right. Play the game.